Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for what you need to know right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be considering taking a leap of faith, moving in a different direction. We have the Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo Energy, and the Fool. So it feels like you're maybe thinking about manifesting something, or you are manifesting, um, and just really thinking about what this new beginning could offer you or how things could change for you. Kind of like you really are weighing out your options and considering choosing to try something new rather than just staying with the same old same old right there's a little bit of an adventure spirit here with the fool so maybe you're manifesting the opportunity to do something that is adventurous or you know and exciting enticing right all of those words behind the eight of cups is the two of swords four of swords three of swords ace of swords then the eight of pentacles so lots of swords coming through and you know i'm also getting kind of like this energy of if i don't do it now when will i right so maybe some of you are really just thinking and you're saying man if i don't take this opportunity or if i don't do this now if i don't take this leap of faith you know when will i um, allow myself so i feel like that four of cups is almost like changing or going from overthinking to just doing right to just taking action um, and giving yourself the chance to explore something. So let's go ahead and clarify the Fool. Oh. All right, we have the Two of Cups. So maybe for some of you, this is about love. Um, and we got an extra card. Um, didn't you? I don't normally try to get four when I clarify, but I got four at this point. Um, I did, anyway, I meant to get three, but I got four instead. So we're going to go with all of them. Um, but it's interesting. I don't think that it was for no reason. I feel like it was very much um, divinely guided. Um, so we have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. And then we have the uh, death card, which is Scorpio, four of wands, the sun, which is Leo, the six of pentacles. I'm also getting kind of like this nervous energy, right? I'm starting to sort of project that. Um, so I feel like maybe some of you are nervous or excited, right, to take a leap of faith, maybe in love. And it's like you've got all these feelings coming through, right, maybe some butterflies. Um, even that, that death card, that Scorpio energy, I feel like we're about to enter Scorpio season, which means that there's going to be transformation, right? Maybe this is a rebirth. Um, during Scorpio season, Pluto will be going back to Aquarius, right, from being in Capricorn for so long. So there's a lot of cosmic things kind of happening here that maybe are, you know, sort of adding to this leap of faith kind of energy here for you. And I feel like with the sun, something's going to make you very happy. There's a lot of joy in the energy, four of wands. This is about celebrating something, right? Six of pentacles, you're getting some sort of... Um, reciprocation, return of investment. There's a balance here. Very, very nice. It's a very pleasant energy to say the least. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the magician. Yeah, nine of cups. So again, pleasant is, is I think the best way that I can describe the energy. It's, um, I feel like with the nine of cups, a lot of you have been doing, you know, really important shadow work and really just looking at yourself, maybe just going through the motions of the past and trying to piece things together and understand things. I feel like you've done a lot to take care of you mentally, physically, emotionally, right? Maybe some of you have made some serious changes in your lifestyle in the recent past and you're kind of seeing the results of that, right? So we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, the Hanged Man, which is Pisces, and then the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Kind of like you've worked to change your perspective, you're being more at peace, right? You're kind of just being still in the moment. And then with the Hierophant, you're really thinking about your long-term goals, you know, the legacy you want to leave behind. So I just feel like you're really focusing on yourself. That self-love is coming through. And then to clarify the Magician, we have the Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Five of Wands. So it's interesting to see that Ace of Cups come through. Doesn't surprise me because again, we've gotten so far 
um, a decent amount of energy related to love but I do I do like that the ace of cups comes through especially with the six of cups because I feel like this only emphasizes that for a lot of you it's a personal self-love journey that you're on and I feel like the six of cups could be about you healing from the past making peace with the past and also um, that five of wands is you're not going to allow anything to defeat you at this time. I feel like that's maybe a promise that you've made to yourself as a way to manifest better and bigger things for you. So yeah, it's, it's a very powerful energy, you know, and I think that you're attracting a lot because of that. So with that ace of cups, this could be about you giving yourself love, but it could also be about you attracting love because of what you've done um, and the journey that you're on. All right, let's clarify the page of pentacles. five of pentacles so maybe in the recent past there was a situation that you went through that made you feel as though you were having to start all over maybe you felt defeated maybe you felt like you lost everything that you cared about all right big a lot of heavy energies coming through there but i definitely feel like this uh, page of pentacles is the universe sort of saying you know yeah you may you may feel as though you've lost everything but i'm, I'm gonna give it back to you little by little right kind of like there's this sort of new opportunity um, kind of coming through to help rebuild from that. So behind the Five of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles, which I like because I think it is a mirror to that Nine of Cups that we saw earlier, just as the Five of Pentacles is a mirror to the Five of Cups that we're seeing here, right? So we have Three of Cups, Five of Cups, and Knight of Cups to clarify that Page of Pentacles. So I think that that Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups represents what you're attracting, Right, what this new opportunity that you are going to take here is going to bring towards you. I feel like it is going to bring new love. It's going to bring new connections. Right, I feel like you're going to be collaborating and networking with like-minded individuals, people that help you kind of pave this new path. Right, I feel like with the Five of Cups, again, there's this energy of having maybe gone through a loss recently. But I feel like the universe doesn't want you to feel stuck there. Right, I think that we need to, yes, validate and process these emotions but not feel as though they can consume us and stop us from moving forward and moving on you know and i feel like depending on what it is that you've lost maybe part of you feels guilty for wanting to move on right because sometimes we do latch on so tightly to the things of our past but i kind of feel like this page of pentacles is the universe giving you this opportunity to almost prove to yourself that you can let go of these things and allow new things in so i feel like this is going to be a very powerful time for you i feel like this you know if anything during scorpio season i wouldn't be surprised if you you know as an aquarius are definitely impacted by that sort of evolution transformational energy because um, it, it seems like there's a lot that's that's really going to change for you all right let's clarify the four of cups seven of cups yeah you've got options you've definitely got options um and i feel like the universe really wants you to consider them we have the devil which is capricorn judgment and the eight of wands i feel like the eight of wands speaks to some important information communication that's going to be coming through here i feel like you're going to have to make a judgment call based on that uh, maybe the devil represents your shadow side maybe it represents a capricorn that you're connecting to uh, maybe it's a placement that you have, uh, but I feel like with that devil, um, it's kind of like we have to be careful or aware of our fears, our deepest innermost fears and how they can sometimes affect our judgment, right? I feel like that's always a direct and very simple kind of message, but I feel like the universe really wants you to let it sink in because it almost seems as though you're going to have options, right? You're going to have some things to choose from. And the Eight of Wands is you're going to receive information on this. You're going to get clarity on that in that moment, right? I feel like whatever your gut feeling is, you know, there may be a little bit of fear sprinkled into that. So I feel like the universe really wants you to make a judgment call that is fair, right? Make a fair judgment call based on the options that you're seeing. Behind the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck is Temperance which is Sagittarius, then Knight of Swords, then the Strength card, and then again we see that Nine of Cups, almost as if the universe is saying, don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone, don't be afraid to give in to something that feels right, right? I feel like with uh, Temperance, there's something again about things being balanced, um, you know, as we enter this sort of new season. So 
really really love this for you definitely a lot to pick apart here but if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one